絶対に Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Seven Phonics channel. Today we're building the real great Destiny Gundam. Plus, I got this premium Bandai、uh, Evac unit that I bought、uh, at January. Yes. And yeah, don't ask me why I built this too at June, because, you know, this is something happened. Yeah. And okay, so, well, today I'm gonna build them. And, you know, I bought this. With a great price, and you know, I'm gonna combine them together and take some photos and let you see the display. And first, we're gonna look at the, the box art first. So, you know, usually nothing special. Side, we got some,、uh, we got the frame, got the weapons, we got the finishing product without any paints. We got the action here, we got a, a lot of description here. And I'm gonna start opening it. So, first, we'll see. Hell, a lot of stickers, and we'll see some、uh, the, the mobile suit flame. We'll see the A runner, as you can see, the sword parts and the other shoulder part as well. Secondly, we'll get some,、um, we'll get some shoulder part. We'll get the, we got the long gun. We got the, the V bin on the head. We got the other stuff, other like、uh, thrusters,、um, joints here. Then we got the wings. We got the wing part. We got the、uh, legs part, the the waist part, and we got here. We got some shield. We got some、um, legs,、uh, other kind of part.、Uh, we got the head. We got the wings, and I'm not sure what they're the center. The center is just some frames. Next, we got this.、Um, RG instruction book. As you can see, it takes it has a lot of description in it. Just quickly flick through, and let you see it. As you can see, this is a lot of marking. That's what I can say. And next, we'll get the Destiny Gundam Evac Unit out, and let's see what's in it. So in it, so okay, empty now. What we got? We got a little instruction book here, and then we'll, it will tell you how to put it on as well. It comes along with an action base. So, as you can see, we got some screws. We got the action base. We got the wings unit here, which is very, very.、Uh, it's compared to XG ones. The RG ones is clearly is more realistic. In the,、uh, it looks like an anime version, and well, you know that's why I buy it. Well, you know I'm really excited on building this suit, so.、Um, I will definitely see you at the review, and let's see what it changes.
Hello and welcome back to the LG Disney kind of review. So this is the finishing of the LG Disney. And first I'm gonna let you look at the side, uh, the size and the, uh, it's the back, front, back, front. And you know, this has got a couple problems that I need to say before I start the whole review. As you can see now, it's already starting it. So this suit couldn't stand on its own for whatever reason, I don't know why. It just couldn't stand on its own and it kind of it kind of pisses me off when it happens. You see, I couldn't make it stand on its own now. So, uh, okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, this suit couldn't stand on its own, which is a very huge major problem. So, I don't really like it <laughs> this way. I like the suit, I like the gunpla design, it's very good. It just couldn't stand on its own and it kind of ruins the whole points on having a model. If a model couldn't stand still, then why would I want it? But you know, that, that doesn't matter. We're talking about a design here first. So first, let's start with the movement. So I'm going to pick it up now and let's kind of say it. So first, uh, head is really movable. It's 360 achievable like this. Just to give me a second. 360 achievable. The back wings is fully extendable. And it, yeah, it's extendable like this. Uh, shoulder shoulder got an individual piece of the weapon here is movable and the shoulder itself is uh, movable as well the whole piece is movable and what what just fell off uh, okay doesn't matter and the the whole arm is a alright sorry about that that was a bit mistake and uh, okay let's keep continue so the front skirt is movable as well and at the side, uh, there's a side skirt, it's slightly movable, and the legs is a uh, is pretty bendable as well, like this. And the back here is movable as well. The back here, there's a little piece here, is movable. The legs, I uh, couldn't really move too much because there's a there's a uh, knee joint is uh, is too tight, couldn't really move that much. And um, next, um, so now let's talk about back. So. You know, the weapons is uh, extendable as well, like this. The weapons is extendable and it's tractable as well. So I'm going to show you later on how to hold it, and uh, also at the side as well. So the back skirt is movable as well, which is a really good feature, I like it. You know, the only thing that I need to complain about this uh, Gunpla is the standing problem. So, you know, that's just the only thing that I need to complain. Other than that, I have nothing to complain about. But okay, so let's just so let's just show you some algae special things. So you, if you buy algae, you know that uh, there's a there's a there's a, uh, you know there's always some opening spot for you, right? So uh, for now, uh, I'm just trying to opening the cockpit. That is very hard to open, which is very hard to open. So like this. So now as you can see, if I twist, you just need to use a little tool. So you need to push down and then you move it up and the cockpit is open now. It's just a little fun fact here because you know. And for why some reason, for some reason, my destiny couldn't uh, shut the cockpit completely. Like it kind of fails off the part. So, which is another problem as well. Yeah. All right, next let's talk about accessories. So first, we have a lot of hands. So by the, but what I mean is, um, other than the fist hand you're currently seeing right now, we have a open. We have, we have a lot of hands. We have uh, some uh, open hand. We have a RG signature movable hand, and we have a weapon holding hand right here. And as well as we have an accessory. So first we have a we have a gigantic sword. I'm not putting it on because that's another problem. If you put the weapon on, uh, either the destiny couldn't stand on its own, or it will. Uh, or the backpack, uh, the backpack part will fall off for some reason. I don't know why, but um, it does have this problem, and it kind of pissing me off. So you know, this this sword is fully openable, and as you can see, it's extended to the sword right now, and it does come along with a uh, beam part, with a beam part. So you know, it's pretty simple. You just need to. You just need to. Oh, sorry, let me move away the camera first. So it's just need. You just need to put it in, and then you just need to push it down, and there you go. The full sword with the beam saber part, effect parts. And next, it does give you a gun. It does have a beam rifle. Sorry, beam rifle. Oh, so <laughs> sorry. 
it does have a beam rival and uh, it can go side by side for the uh, other handle as well it could also there's a little there's a little um join here you can just kind of snap it at the back as well like this you can snap it at the back i'm just gonna take it out now because i have other things to show so um, remember when you pull it out, you need to be really careful. And now, yep, my destiny started falling off. Next, what we got? We got a beam, we got a shield here, which you can put it on, on the hands. So now I'm gonna just quickly show you how to do it. So first, you need to take off the yellow parts on the hand, on the hand part, and you put it back on like this. So now the beam shield is being attached on the hair now, like this. But uh, there's one thing though, it's, it's really not stable, so please be careful when you try to move uh, any kind of posing. It's really unstable, so that's another problem as well. We do have a uh, another uh, beams, beam uh, effect part, it's for the side as well. Ooh. We have the long and the short ones, it's for the side as well, so I'm just going to quickly pull off one and show you, so you know. I can just put it on like this. As you can see, is is I just pull off the side and then you can put on the beams. Uh, it's a really good feature though. Other than the XG, uh, the XG ones, uh, I don't think the XG ones give you any of this kind of detail. But so I think this one's is doing a quite a good job about it. And now for some reason I could have put back this in. Just to be honest, this is the first time I built an RG that have I am honestly gonna complain through the whole review. Next, if you know. I bought the um, the expansion set on the Disney, so it comes along with a uh, action base here. It's a really small action base, it's not not even really worthy to talk about. But next, we do have a main prize. We have this wing. The wing part though here is uh is really good looking. It's a really detail as well. Uh, if you look at if you what no the XG Disney and you look at this wing now it's a complete difference but I need but yep sorry um the whole review is gonna, it's gonna be complaining so first I need to complain about something when we when we put the wings on and it's gonna be really looking ridiculous what I mean by ridiculous is some part couldn't even snap it in like um like like some parts are just really hard to snap it in some parts it's just some parts just being really weird look at this so it's just really simple you just need to put it in like this but for some reason my model my uh it's not my model it's just the it's just the joint on it there's no joint you just need to clip it in like this and it it's not really still so i don't know i'm not sure why um, I bought this because it's not really still the wings couldn't really stand on its own I mean uh, it couldn't join in its own so it kind of makes it unworthy and you know I'm, I just, I'm even lazy to put it on because it's just really hard to plug it in and I tried it but it takes a long time to put it in and so I'm not gonna do it in here so okay there's no more things to explain so I just gonna wrap it up really <laughs> Really terrible frame design. Yes, the frame that I mean the MS joint in the really terrible frame and Other thing is the outside looks good, but the inner frame looks really bad and other than that the part snapping got some problems as well because they got they um, the joints couldn't snap together tightly and it all time all the time it fell off and other than that uh, the suit couldn't stand on its own which is another problem for posing as well the expansion set what i need to say is uh the wings is it gonna kill you if you're gonna put a uh, like a more stable joint in it because every time when i need to try to clip it on it takes me about 10 minutes to put on one wing and for me if if they sell as a premium and i it's really unworthy for me and it's just kind of make me feel disappointed like I was so excited about this, but then all of a sudden you give me this crappy wing. I'm sorry the design looks good, but the joint on this is absolutely looking really bad. And what I mean is, uh, if you're going to sell it as a premium, at least get your wings right. And what the most disappointing thing is, uh, the standing problem 
it takes a long time to make the moves and, and it makes me very disappointed. Well, other than that, the overall, uh, the weapon design, other gunplay design is really good, but it's just a frame problem got something to kind of take out the mark. So this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this. So um, be sure to drop a like down on the videos and subscribe to my channel for more gunplay reviews. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.